car collector who I met a week ago. His name is John McDonald. He lives in North Pole. I hear he's quite a character. He's got cars scattered around his property along with a lot of other equipment. So I've not been there. We're going to experience it for the first time together. Us busy for the rest of the day. Well, pulling your driveway, this is this is the kind of place we like to find. I was in uh, Fairbanks a couple of weeks ago for a car event and met John at a antique car picnic and cookout. I got his phone number. I said, I'm going to call you back in a couple of weeks when I'm back here. So what, what's your thing? I mean, I, people well, told me you were a Studebaker guy, but I guess you're well, more yeah, than that. I'm, I'm, I'm everything, you know. I, I have a bucket list, you know, and, and it changes every week. You're scrolling down that, that, that the internet on the eBay Motors, you know. Oh my God, there's a nice car, you know. I can afford that. That's, that's on the West Coast, you know, so I just have it shipped up. Let's go take a look at some of these things here. Yeah, you just, just ask me a few questions. It's a 57 Ranchero. Bought that for a birthday present. To yourself? Yeah, why not? <laughs> so 272, 293? Got a, according to the, uh, the door post, it's got a 312 in it. 312. This seems like a, a pretty solid car. It ain't bad. Wow. I'll uh, drive it till I wear it out and uh, sell it. So the key's in here. Is this start? We'll start her up. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Oh man, that sounds sweet. Is, Did uh, you put duels on it or came with duels? Came with duels. That, uh, yeah. That's not original paint, is it? No, it's, it's been restored several years ago. But you know, it, it's just worn enough that it looks yeah. original. Huh. Yeah. Oh, well, I've nice. been driving it uh, uh, every day this summer, almost every day. No kidding. And that's for sale. Why not? Yeah. That's what I say. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, if I wanted to buy this, what would you charge? You gotta get 20 grand out of it. 20 grand. And yeah. you could drive it to Florida from here, no problem? I don't guarantee road trips. Okay. <laughs> so there you got a Ranchero, which is a car, truck. And here you've got a Studebaker Champ, which is like a Lark in the front and a truck in the back. So you had a few of these. That's huh. the, uh, the uh, one ton model right there. This is one yeah, ton. Yeah. What a good looking truck, you know, oh, for the beautiful. day. Beautiful, yeah, I love, I love the Studebakers. Does it have a V8? Uh, V8, uh, I don't know what the size is, the two, 242 or 245. What, what year is this one? 1960. It's got a three on the tree, 53,000 miles. You don't know if that's original or not. Came out of Washington. Runs well? Runs pretty good, yeah. At eight bolt wheels. I'm looking at the double wall thickness of the bed. You know, trucks of that era didn't have that, I don't think. Maybe some fleet sides. All right, so how much is this one? Uh, give me six grand, you can have it. All right. That's today's price. <laughs> Another 32. That's a uh, ton and a half dually. So that's got a flathead V8. Flathead V8, and it, uh, it runs pretty good. Didn't Let's most see. of these come with a four cylinder? Yeah, four cylinder. Yeah. I uh, got the four cylinder and drove it and drove it. It kept overheating on me. Well, I had two, I had two, uh, two uh, crack cylinders. Can you believe it? I don't have any car that starts that quickly. So you have al alternators on all your cars. It's a good idea. Yeah, the uh, generators. Nobody wants to work on them anymore. Boy, that's smooth. Very nice. Another Rochester carburetor. Yep. It uh, runs excellent. That's very nice. That's a 1933 Ford uh, pickup truck. Uh huh. It had a four banger when I got it, but I, I put a put a flathead V8 in it. Oh, okay. It runs pretty strong. It's got a nine inch Ford rear end in it. <laughs> and uh. Aluminum heads. Aluminum heads, those are called the cheater heads. Yep, yep. Harman Collins ignition and an alternator. So it's slightly and, uh, modernized. 
That, that's interesting the way that the, the exhaust pipes follow the pickup bed. Out. That's all old school. Did you build that? I built that, yeah. Yeah, but back in high school. Yeah. So what would, if I wanted to buy this truck from you, what would you charge? Uh, 18. 18 grand. It's yeah. a good runner driver. Yeah, runner driver, but uh, check on the internet and they're going for twenty five, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, you know. So, I mean, it's, it's got the, uh, the uh, uh, dual springs on the back, the Traverse Springs, I guess you call them, and uh, nine inch Ford, Ford rear end and uh, hydraulic brakes. Hydraulic brakes. So, you'll use these wheels on this truck. This is a power wagon. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've got to modify these wheels a bit to fit, but... Uh, this is a World War II era? World War II. This is a special rig here. To check out this, uh, this uh, tag on the other door over here. Ambulance was bought with war bonds. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. Field ambulance presented to the United States Army by the Telephone Accounting Employees, Washington, D.C., through the purchase of war bonds. Isn't that interesting? So this is like a 44 or something? Uh, 1943. 43. So do you ever drive something like this? I drove it in the Golden Days Parade a couple years ago. Uh-huh. It uh, drove down, down the highway about, about 40, 45 miles an hour. The front wheel started shimming a bit, you know, but. Somehow I have the feeling that the uh, orange shag carpet is not original to this. <laughs> I've seen some of these with like late model Hemi's in them with fuel wow. injection, supercharged. Yeah. yeah, I just want to keep it semi-stock so I can drive it, you know. And that's a, a flathead six cylinder? Flathead six. One barrel carburetor. And is that a low mileage vehicle, you think? Well, I think, I think it, it uh, remained here in the United States and they probably used it as a, uh, as a uh, utility truck. Oh, so it never went to war. Well, I, I don't know that for sure, but I, uh, that's my best guess. That's, that's why it's got the winch on the front and the headache rack on it. And did you put the uh, antlers on there? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a neat vehicle. So what would you ask for that? I gotta get eight out of it the way it sits. Eight grand as a running vehicle? Well, I could see somebody wanting that. Okay, so we got a, a nice old Chevy pickup here. 1950 Chevrolet. Uh, Three quarter ton. Uh, one ton. The, one ton. Uh, the uh, 3800 series, one, one ton. ton. Yeah. It's got the uh, nine foot box on it. And a creeper gear in first gear, I'm sure. That looks like a solid truck. Is that original paint? No, uh, the paint isn't. The, uh, the uh, wood on the, uh, the grain box is. No kidding. Uh, uh, see how, how wide that board is? You don't, you don't see those anymore. Hmm. I've used it for quite a few summers, you know, when winter mice got into the doggone headliner. Yep. You know what you can put in these? Have you ever heard about putting dryer sheets in there? You go to the store and, and in the laundry detergent area, if you want to have fluffy clothes, you throw this dryer sheet in the, right. and you put them in the engine compartment, the passenger, and the mice hate the smell. Well, I heard also you can use uh, mothballs. Mothballs, but then you yeah. got to smell mothballs. So this hot rod, did you build this hot rod? No, I bought that on the internet. Drove it one summer. It needs a lot of work. I got, uh, got, got to do the interior on it. That's a business coupe. I think it is, because it's got that long deck. Uh, it's got a flathead? No, it's got a 351 Cleveland in it. So it's a moon gas pedal with a three-speed uh, floor shift. Hmm. Yeah, it's on the bucket list. You know, get it finished. Cool stuff. And we're not even done yet. Let's go this way, Banjo. Come on, let's go this way. Good boy. Oh, yeah. That window coupe. Oh boy. What year is that? 1937, Baker Dictator. Man. That's a rare body, isn't it? Well, oh, very rare. It's got a uh, 283 in it. Did you put the motor in? Put the motor in. It's hanging on three speed out of a pickup truck. Four nine inch rear end. Solid yeah. body? Oh, body, good. it's got a couple of rust spots in the bottom of the trunk back. So it's got a little rust spot down in the corner down there, but, but otherwise a solid body. And the reason it's in such fine shape, they never hardly drove it because it had 611 gears in it. That's, that's, for, that's for them San Francisco Hills. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, 611 gears, you're lucky to get 40 miles an hour out of on the freeway. 77,000 miles. Mm -hmm. That's like uh, 80 years old, I guess. 
They've got it advertised on the Craigslist right now, Alaska Craigslist for 18. It sounds sweet. Oh yeah, it's nice. Exhaust yeah. Is perfect. Yeah. Big old trunk of that thing. Jeez. You could camp out back there. <laughs> so you could you could enjoy this car the way it is. Is that Oh, hydraulic? I've been driving it the way it is, yeah. Hydraulic yeah. brakes? Hydraulic brakes I put on it, yeah. It's got drums all around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the grill on this car. I mean, the way it slants back, it's somewhat reminiscent of a 37 Ford, but in my mind, it actually came out better. Nice emblem. Did you replace this grill? No. It's pretty good. That's a nice one. I like that. Whew. And I think 18 grand is a fair price. You can just get in and drive it. Hmm. Yeah, well, one guy from Mich Michigan called me. Wanted to know if he could drive it to Michigan, you know. Well, same story. I don't guarantee road trips, you know. You just got to do it. Okay, so back here we've got a Model T. So that's a T speed. It looks like it's got Chevy wheels. So you got coil spring suspension in the front. That's aftermarket. Hmm. Back one's aftermarket, too. And that's got a stock motor? No, it's been all hopped up. You can't tell it looks stock, but it's got a Model A crankshaft in it. It's got 351 Ford Cleveland valves in it. It's got electronic ignition down here. It's got a bigger, bigger carburetor on it. So I see some speed parts in here, intake manifolds. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on here. Mm -hmm. These, this is heavy steel. This is yeah. heavy steel. Wow. All right, so what are you asking for this? We're trying to sell cars for you here. I'd have to have uh, eight for it. Eight for yeah. It. I mean, I, I, I've got probably five or six in the engine, you know, so. Oh, this is goofy. So it's got a Model A engine? It's modified? A Model, Model A engine with a uh, Robert Roof, uh, I mean, uh, George Riley overhead conversion on it. Oh. That's from a, that's from a drive shaft? And it runs well? We just heard it. I mean, down the road, it's got hydraulic brakes. Oh, yeah, hydraulic brakes. Are, yeah, I did this car about 14 years ago. Okay, we have another race car, another Speedster here. It's a 1926 Model T. Uh -huh. The story I got behind that one, back in 1967, they had a big celebration of, of Alaska being 100 years old, you know. Oh, yeah. And uh, the guy brought this up from Minnesota, painted it all up, and drove it up here. So what kind of transmission does this have? It's got the uh, Model T transmission. I, I see a shift lever. Uh, that's for your Ruxel two-speed rear Ruxel end. Ruxel two-speed, okay. Yeah. That, that motor is basically all stock. I gave it a valve job two winters ago. It run, runs really good now. In fact, it runs too good. I probably got to put safety belts and roll bar in it, you know, so. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, uh, and, no, and no brakes, okay. No brakes to speak of. So, uh, and it's got these rare headlights. What those are, they are EJ headlights. That's what those are aftermarket headlights. That's what they put on some of the Packards and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got this incredibly gaudy hood ornament. <laughs> got that out of the dumpster. So stock motor. Huh. It'll do 45, 50 miles an hour. You know, mm -hmm. it's got the Rex of two speed, but I get front end shimming a little bit. You know. So. Oh yeah. And what do you ask for this one? Ah, uh, 14. Hmm. We haven't looked at this truck yet either. So this is the truck he drove up from Oklahoma. And went through, what do you say, 15 gallons of oil? This had a 500 cubic inch Cadillac in it when I got it in Oklahoma. And that's what burned all the oil? Yeah. Huh. And, uh, I was so pissed off that motor, I just took it straight to the scrap yard, you know. I put, a, I put a 390 Ford in it with a C6 transmission. Oh. And now it's a runner driver, no problem. No, no problem. Oh, I got a late model column in there. Sure looks like it's not touched. Doesn't look like a hot rod. Uh -huh. I, I put the dings in the fenders, you know, hauling firewood, you know. So I've been hauling firewood with, with this now for about seven, eight years, you know, so. Here we're coming up on the last car. Now we have a chopped uh, pickup truck here. I did the top and I channeled it. Ah. Huh. Yep. I put a flathead V8 in it. It's got a four-speed Muncie in it. It's a 34? Thir 32. Thir it's a 32. 32, no yep. Does this start? Well, I haven't had it started all summer. But we'll see what the battery says. Oh, 
Oh, sweet. What is that, a Rochester? Rochester. And that's uh, that's like a 51, 52, 53 Merc? Um, well, it's got the later distributor. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's uh, 1949 to 53. You got the 4-inch Merc stroke yeah, of crank. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a sweetheart, man. Yeah. You got headers on there, too. Huh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Did, did you put this spider web on here before we got here? That's all custom. <laughs> <laughs> what do we ask for that, or you don't want to sell that one? Well, the way it is, I sell for 18. I got to do the rear end in it, though. That's going to be a big problem, you know. Is that a, a banjo rear, the old fashioned? Thing? Well, I took that out. Oh, that's, that's what I got in there now, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to put a modern rear end in there. Oh, okay. okay. So 18 would be a, that's a good value for this vehicle. On Barn Find Hunter, we love to start cars that don't look like they'll start. Well, in John's case, he had a bunch of them that ran. And if we had more time, he could have started more. I hope you enjoyed seeing this episode of John and his collection of equipment and cars hidden back on a dirt road in Alaska. Happy hunting. I put a bench seat in it. I like a bench seat because I got a dog, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we got to have a bench seat in it. You got to have a bench seat for the a dog or a girlfriend? Well, I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> I, I've been lucky now for 20, 20, 20, 27, 28 years, you know, so. <laughs>